Okay, prone ventilation in ARDS. Again, if you get to that point, probably the patient is very sick in ICU. Of course, there is an intensivist and pulmonary and critical care on the case. And I want to explain that prone ventilation doesn't mean the patient will be in the prone position all the time. No, it's actually a cycle. Uh, there's a protocol where they put them in a prone ventilation for let's say four hours then flip for another six hours or two hours anyway I, I don't remember the exact time but there's a protocol where they switch the patient from prone to supine to prone to supine why it's simply if we leave this is the patient in supine this is the back below so the gravity all these alveoli here let me just change the color will be either fluid filled or atelectatic because the the gravity right and this is non-cardiogenic pulmonary edema at the end so the majority of this the, the the lower half is not participating in the oxygenation because the alveoli is either are fluid filled or atelectatic and there is a huge VQ mismatch on this area. Well, the majority of oxygen would happens here because there is less VQ mismatch compared to this one because the gravity or most of the fluid go to the lower half. So you'll have more health or healthier alveoli here. Again, not all of them healthy, but a higher number of healthier alveoli. Basically, what you try to do you try to reverse this process by flipping the patient and changing this process and then keep flipping the patient back and forth that way you'll give some time for these alveoli to improve and recover and that's why some of these atelectatic alveoli will open that's what we call it is it help with the recruitment and then again, you don't allow much time for this uh, healthier part initially to become that bad. So you flip the patient again. So basically, it's not like the patient will be on his face or down on his chest all the time with a prone position. Actually, it's a cycle and a protocol where you spend some time in the prone position and then supine then prone then supine that way you try to recruit the majority of the lung and allow the majority of the lung to participate in oxygenation and decrease the vq mismatch so that's what prone ventilation is again if you go and read more details they talk about more other mechanics but this is really the main mechanism and it's easier to understand uh, uh, in our mind <clears throat> so remember um that's another recruitment maneuver is the prone ventilation and we mainly use it in ARDS and actually in some studies showed it improve survival in ARDS